In this video, I'll show you a super cool free method to retouch and edit your AI images by using ClipDrop. So here we are on the ClipDrop homepage. I will leave a link to it in the description. You can scroll down and access all of the different tools right here for free. Some of them are limited with the free version, but many of them you can also use quite effectively. And I'm going to show you two of those in this video. So first of all, we've got the clean up function right here. If we click onto this and load an image, we can then draw over different objects that we want to hide with this brush. You can also decrease the brush size if it's a small object like these right here or increase if you want to cover a bigger area. So I'm going to try and get rid of these bubbles right here, which are pretty random and not necessary. Once you've selected what you want to get rid of, hit clean. And very quickly, as we can see, it's done a pretty decent job. There's still a bit of a foggy bit right here, which I'll try and paint over again, see if it can do a better job right there. Hit clean again. And there we go. Now it looks pretty smooth. Do the same around this area. And I think I might also want to get rid of some of these random objects at the bottom, which uh, Mid Journey didn't really do a good job with. So let's paint over these with the brush again. There we go. And let's make the brush smaller. Try and get rid of this right here as well. There we go. Let's hit clean. If you click on the move tool right here, by the way, you can zoom into the image and move it around to make it easier to actually paint over certain objects. If you click select again, it will bring the brush back up. So now I can actually go into some of these random shadows and try and fix those paint over them like this and then hit clean again and now we've got if I go back to move and zoom out now we've got a pretty clean image that doesn't have random floaty objects anymore uh, you can do the height changes over here to see the before and the after you can also undo with this button or hitting Control Z on your keyboard to undo your last step or once you're done just click download for this to be saved to your device and the next tool I want to show you is this relighting function right here. This is definitely super interesting to mess around with. Really cool if you're doing poster design or you just want to edit the feel of your AI images before you upscale them. And what I'm going to do here is I'll drag and drop the same image into this that we just retouched and tidied up. And now, as you can see, you get different light sources that you can move around like so. Just click on them, drag them around. I quite like having two different sort of complementary light colors. So I'm going to get rid of this green one and change these colors a little bit from red to pink and then I'm also going to go for a bit of a different blue that's more towards green right here and now the trick is actually working out these different sliders and um, sort of how they affect the image so you can play around with them this is the strength of the actual blue as you can see turning that all the way up lights this scene very intensely in that blue turning it down makes it pretty much invisible so that is it in terms of the first slider here we've got the distance that's going to affect where on the image the light is going to be um, sort of displayed so if we've got this very low it's sort of just shining onto the cat from the back and if I turn this up it also covers it from the front as if the light source was coming front on so that's the distance and the radius is another way to adjust how much the light is covering the image. So as you can see, if this is all the way down, we've only got it shining on the left side, all the way up, it reaches over to the right. Um, let's mess around with the pink as well, because that definitely doesn't look very good. Turn this up a tiny bit so the cat's face is lit as well by the blue. And let's actually increase the strength of the pink light, turn the radius down a bit, distance down a bit. I just want the edge I'm sort of to be lit in pink. And the blue's a bit overpowering now. So let's actually go ahead and turn this down a bit it does definitely take some messing around and getting used to but after you just play around with these sliders for a while you should get a pretty decent result and still move these sources around to get a different feel like now we've got a lot of pink here and the edge is sort of glowing on that bowl here it's, it's more sort of from the top down um, you just have to work out what you think looks best you can also add new light sources with this button down here and delete them with this bin symbol you can also hide the light sources if you want to get a better idea of what the end result would look like and you can turn off the lights to see the before and the after with this light bulb button up here definitely a cool tool to play around with i highly recommend you try it out if you're into these sorts of ai designs once you're ready just click download and it will be saved to your device if you're a big fan of free tools then make sure to check out this video next where i share 14 of my favorite 
freebies.